Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is a follow on from yesterday's. Um, in yesterday's tutorial we looked at making your own GIMP brushes and if you remember I was making some bug brushes and today we're going to look at zipping those into a folder that can be easily uploaded to deviantart.com so that you can share it with other users because um, I'm all about sharing. So what we're going to do today, um, I use a program called 7-Zip which is available free um, if you just google 7-Zip you'll find it um, and I use that to zip my files, there are loads of other zip programs that you can use but I'm just sticking with what I know for the moment um, what we're going to need first you'll need a couple of things, firstly um, you'll need a little thumbnail image um, it has to be well the way I do it is a PNG file um, and it can't be any bigger than 150 pixels by 150 pixels so that's exactly what I've got there um, which is this uh, PNG here. I've also got a little readme file now you don't need these but you can put these in your folder just to give people a little bit of information about you um, any contact information if you want to give it and also um, uh, any uh, stipulations you have about the way your brushes are used. I mean I've said I can, they can be used in any way at all so I don't really mind but um, you, as I say you don't need that readme file but it be, can be quite useful and the other thing you're going to need on your desktop is an empty folder which um, has the same name as your brushes so then what you're going to need is to open up the folder that you actually keep all of your GIMP brushes in so if you remember yesterday I told you where to save them um, and today we're going to get them from that place so what you need to do first once you've found that is select all of the brushes that you want to upload to DeviantArt which I'm just going to very quickly do this way and once you've got all of those copied um, or all of those selected rather you want to press Control and C just to copy them open up your empty bugs folder and press Control and V just to paste all of those files in um, what I'm also going to do is select these two files by control clicking them and copy those and I'm just going to paste both of those in there as well just so they're with the whole folder and I can close that down now so now in our bugs folder we've got everything that we want to upload so I'm rid of that as well now what you need to make sure you've got um, is you need to have a DeviantArt account to be able to do this so make sure that you know you have that before you get started um, what we're going to do now is um, right click on the folder that we need to zip um, I'm going to go to 7-zip, it depends on what you're using and I'm going to go to add to bugs.zip and that will take a few seconds and once that's done um, the bugs.zip will come up to my uh, my desktop as well ok so now I'm going to go to deviantart.com and as I said you need to be a member so once you've signed in and you're a member um, go to your profile page which is the one that has all of the, uh, the information about you and your, your recent uploads and things and go to submit deviation and then from here on in it's pretty straightforward um, I'm just going to get rid of that because I had a failed attempt earlier so we're going to go to, uh, we're going to call it uh, bug brushes and we're going to choose a category, now we want to be as accurate as we can with this because it will help people um, it will make it easier for people to find you so we're going to go down to tutorials and resources application resources and GIMP brushes because that's exactly what we've got um, which file, we're going to add the file bugs zipped and this will take a few seconds to upload um, we also need to add a preview of the image or of the file so this is where my um, bugs PNG file comes in wherever on earth that is there you go ok so now we've got a preview that everyone will be able to see artist comments um, Um, I'll update that later then you put in some keywords so um, obviously this is just to make your searches a bit easier 
and then there's a, a whole bunch of other stuff that you need to check but I mean that's fairly straightforward choose license uh, yep yeah, use Creative Commons and yeah I don't mind commercial uses and I don't mind share and share alike okay and that's everything so far um, you need to say that you've read all of the usual bump and then you can submit this shouldn't take too long and there we go um, there's the brushes um, uploaded and you'll see that you know there's the comments I made um, you've got like your hit counters and how many people have downloaded it stuff like that and people can leave you comments and stuff at the bottom anyway pretty straightforward pretty easy and I hope to see you all sharing your stuff soon um, I just want to do a quick advertisement for another user um, this user here Photolink started up a website looking at um, photography and GIMP and open source projects and stuff like that and I've got to say the stuff that he's uploaded recently all of his GIMP tutorials are so detailed and so educational um, you absolutely have to subscribe to him um, currently I am the only subscriber which I think is an absolute criminal offence um, as I say, these are the most educational GIMP videos I have ever seen. They're far more informative than mine are. Um, and if you're serious about learning about the GIMP, I would certainly check out this guy immediately and subscribe to him. Um, so, you know, I'm looking pretty lonely down there on the subscribers bar. So, you know, get your act together, GIMP users. Um, support your community. That's what this video is all about, after all. Anyway, so that's my uh, little tutorial done for today. And I hope you found it useful and interesting. Uh, I'll see you later.